the Ranger 9 spacecraft, last in the series, was launched from Cape Kennedy on 21 March 1965 and impacted on the moon 24 March within the crater Alphonsus, less than three miles from the predicted impact point. This is the Ranger 7 impact point in Mare Cognitum and that of Ranger 8 in an area not illuminated in this picture in Mare Tranquillitatus. Like Rangers 7 and 8, Ranger 9 carried six television cameras, which transmitted over two channels, one of which contained camera A and camera B, and the other containing cameras P1, P2, P3, and P4. Ranger 9 transmitted a total of 6,150 pictures. Now the Ranger 9 pictures. The first A camera picture showed an area 708 miles across by 676 miles, the area diminishing rapidly as impact neared until the final A picture, which covered an area approximately two miles on a side. North is at the top in all the pictures. Beginning at 259 miles from the moon, a slightly longer look. The crater Alphonsus has a diameter of 70 miles. One and a half minutes to impact. 49 miles across this picture. Note the smoothness of the central peak, rising 3,500 feet above the crater floor. The large crater, which can be seen near the left-hand margin, is 1.6 miles in diameter and is situated on a shallow rill running north. The final A camera picture shows a four square mile area of the lunar surface with the impact point in the right central portion of the picture. The initial B camera photo covered an area 277 miles across by 230 miles. The impact point, visible in the early pictures, is out of the field of view toward the end. Beginning at 327 miles from impact, a slightly longer look at the TV photos. Note the smoothness of the highland areas as compared with the crater floor and the similarity to the central peak of Alphonsus. An area 32 miles across by 27 miles is shown here. The last pictures in the B series show clearly the prominent rills broken by dark halo type craters. The impact area is not visible here. At the right of the picture is the east edge of Alphonsus. Note that the halo type craters have soft contours and the surrounding area appears to be covered by material representing the darker material on the moon. As the spacecraft moved closer in, several shallow depressions with numerous dimple craters and fine structure in the shadowed area became visible. The smallest craters discernible are approximately 30 feet in diameter. This partial picture is the final B camera view, covering an area 545 feet by 76 and a half feet. The wide band on the right is receiver noise. The P1 and P2 cameras were equipped with three inch lenses, P3 and P4 with one inch lenses. The P channels cameras provided overlapping among themselves and all four P cameras photographed areas included within the coverage of the A and B cameras. Each of the four cameras sent a total of 1,340 high quality pictures to the receiving station at Goldstone, California. Total spacecraft travel time on its picture taking journey to the moon, 64 hours, 31 minutes, 12 seconds. Distance traveled, 259,143 miles. The spacecraft at impact was traveling at a velocity of just under 6,000 miles an hour. The 
impact point in the crater Alphonsus was approximately 12.9 degrees south latitude and 2.4 degrees west longitude, just northeast of the crater's central peak. The final P-channel pictures showed craters as small as 18 inches in diameter, similar in size to those shown in the B-camera coverage. The last P-channel picture taken by camera P3, one quarter of a second before impact, covered an area 253 feet by 226 feet. The last three frames show the impact point clearly. Performance of a terminal maneuver made it possible for all cameras except B to show the impact point.